Well, hi there. This is Daniel St. Pierre with Cybergenica and Glorious Media. And today I will show you how to create a follow up sequence, um, email follow up sequence, or autoresponder sequence in Infusionsoft, the most complicated CRM <laughs> application in the world. Go ahead and log into your application uh, to get started. And then uh, let me show you what exactly we're going to be doing. Uh, first, we're going to start with the email templates themselves, working backwards, essentially. These are the emails that will be sent out to your prospects in sequence. So we start with the email templates, amazingly enough. And then we'll create a thank you page. This thank you page ultimately is the landing page that your prospects will be landing on after they fill out the form. So ultimately, this page is more than a thank you page. Actually, it does involve strong calls to action while you have their attention um, we need to try and continue on that path so a thank you page is key to um, uh, to the success of this uh, of the sequence then we'll go ahead and create some tags um, to associate to these uh, these prospects through the form we'll create the actual sequence itself that will contain the email templates and the tag and then we'll create a web form that will customize to suit our needs and finally we'll take this code um, from the web form and we'll insert that into our website so let's go ahead and um, from your marketing section of Infusionsoft let's go ahead and browse to templates and from there we're going to go uh, let's go ahead and add an email template shall we and let's always make absolutely certain that we use test campaign email number one that we use um, not only appropriate but descriptive subjects and titles for your template here um, you want to be making absolutely certain that you group your templates and you do so by name and also that you uh, identify sequences if this is email number one then it should be um, it should be tagged as such uh, the subject should always always be merged always make sure that you're using the person's first name in um, in your subject lines and by doing so you'll get 35 percent more opens can you believe that that open rates are impacted um, so significantly by a first name so congratulations first name I usually like to um, to start, this is going to be my first email ultimately, and I like to start my relationships with uh, new prospects um, with a congratulatory message. Congratulations, you know, for uh, congratulations on taking the first step in improving XXX, you know. Um, so you go ahead here and you would um, edit, you know, of course, you got to edit the header, uh, title, and so on and so forth. Also, the footer uh, is, is, um, important you want to be um, using any legal mumbo jumbo uh, in the footer over here uh, this is you know I mean the, the infusion soft uh, a builder is, is you know is user friendly so go ahead and, and do what you got to do with that and uh, build your emails and uh, build at least two or three of them the first one is to be sent out immediately um, and then the second email usually uh, following uh, within 24 hours and then uh, a third email after 72 hours and then a fourth email goes after one week. Um, then a fifth one would go after 10 days. Sixth email goes after two weeks. And the seventh, lucky seven, after 30 days. Uh, let's go back to our searches and our templates here. Um, you'll see that we have our email, number one. Hmm. Let's go ahead and create two more on the fly. And the title here will be number two. Subject, well, let's do the same thing here. Always remember to have calls to action in every email that you send out. Always try to entertain, enlighten, educate, and then make some money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I like to do. Um, so we should have email number two now. Did I save that? I didn't save it, did I? Let's go back here. 
Is it going to let me do that? No, it hates me. I didn't save the email, folks, so now I'm paying the price. I am paying the price because I didn't save the template. That's one thing with Infusionsoft. Always make sure that you publish and save and double save and triple check because guess what? I can't tell you how many hours and possibly days of my life I have wasted by doing this and then thinking, okay, great, we're done now, and not scrolling to the bottom and clicking save. It's green now. It's a green button. <laughs> Fusionsoft is using green now instead of blue. It's more docile. Whatever. Let's go ahead and add a third one real quick. Um, I was hoping this tutorial to be under five minutes. Oh, well. <laughs> so email number three. We'll use the same subject line. Why not? That's not really important. And let's edit this email body. Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, one call to action per email is really important. A enticing, engaging sub subject line is, is key to success. Uh, but also important is, um, is scheduling. You know, you got to make absolutely certain that you schedule your emails to go out instantly. And then after one day, then two, then three, then five. You know, I mean, you got to do this. Otherwise, you know, otherwise why bother? <laughs> Seriously. Um, there we go. Now that we've got our email templates, well, that took 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and uh, at this time basically is when I would make sure that I have a team member working on a thank you page. Um, you certainly don't want to be using Infusionsoft thank you boxes or pop-ups or whatever they are. You absolutely need to invest into a landing page that will, um, that will also include a call to action, that will include some additional information, possibly some contact information uh, for your company, but ultimately you need a landing page. This is where I would typically work on the landing page, uh, but we'll skip that step. As you can see here, we're not going to work on that landing thank you page. Uh, we'll assume that I've already designed it or that I'm doing it right now. Ultimately, it's a page on your website that says thank you um, for taking that first step. Thank you for registering. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. Um, and then always have some value added on that page. Either a call to action to a video, download this free ebook, do something. But uh, you just need to have something. So we'll just keep this step here and go straight to the tags and go right back to Infusionsoft. From there, let's go into our CRM and our settings. We can go up here from here. I'm not sure. There's just so many different ways to get there. I, this is a path I like. They have, um, Infusionsoft have uh, basic tags that they... Um, they uh, include in each application. I like to make my own. So we'll call this one again test campaign. This is a prospect. These are prospect tags. And we'll go ahead and add these tags. All right, fantastic. Test campaign is right here. And our ID is 104. Is that relevant? No, not really. Uh, now that we have our tags, let's go ahead and create our sequence. And how do we do that? Well, if we go into our marketing section and then from there under legacy well there she is view follow-up sequence and let's add one we'll call it test campaign that works for me and this is a prospect sequence and let's create it first step of course is going to be i'd like to send an email I'm going to use an email I already have, and it's called email template number one from test campaign. <laughs> um, this all looks good. I want to send it immediately. This step will run, and let's go ahead and save that email. Yes, I do. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Uh, next, let's uh, add another action. Let's go ahead and uh, apply our tag while we're here. 
and the only tag that we have is test campaign okay go back to manager steps let's add another email you can also add the tag first it's up to you um, and we'll use another email we'll go to email number two and we want to send that when hello we want to send that X days after the person is added which is one day <laughs> not very complicated uh, let's go ahead and save and go to the sequence here oops something happened there you go step number two let's enter a third one it's an email I have we'll go to number three want to send that X days we'll go three days and save and go to my sequence so there you have it there's our sequence <laughs> it's simple as that really three emails we've got an action there that will apply a tag I mean there's a lot more that you can do there you know but uh, we'll keep it simple for the sake of uh, this tutorial um, there are other options that you can set but now that we've got our sequence let's go ahead and uh, create our web form shall we did I save that? am I supposed to save anything? I cannot believe my emails are gone because I didn't save it. Was I supposed to hit save? Options. This. Was I supposed to hit save? I didn't think I needed to hit save. Hmm. You see what infusion stuff does to you? It drives you crazy. <laughs> I mean, I, there you go. Now it's back. Um, so we've got our emails. We've got our tag. Let's go ahead and uh, add a web form. Dun, 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 dun. We'll just call it test campaign. Mm -hmm. And then from this section here, it starts out pretty bland. It starts out at all. So first name, email, and this is where you want to customize it if you wanted to. Click your edit form. Um, I shouldn't have done that. It takes forever. But you can go ahead and uh, and just add a name. Um, which one? I want the middle name, last name. Let's go with last name. Um, so we've got first name, last name. You could customize this form to whatever you want. You know, I think you're getting that. Um, and once we have the form customized, you could also add actions here if you wanted to, by the way. You could apply the tag uh, here or in the sequence. It's up to you. I mean, either way will work fine. Um, if you wanted to apply the tag, you would do it here. Um, let's go ahead and cancel that. Um, if you wanted to have uh, confirmation or duplicate checking, I mean, all these things are... are, are tremendously valuable but uh, for the sake again of this tutorial um, the thank you page well here's the um, generic thank you page um, and this is definitely not what we want to use instead we want to use a web address and this is where you would type your um, thank you page address so let's go ahead and save that so now we have our form is ready to go. We've got a thank you page that we're forwarding to. Let's go ahead and publish this beast, shall we? Um, at this point, you can have the webmaster do it, do it ourselves. So let's go ahead and get the code. I like usually getting the HTML code unstyled. And then I can, um, then it will automatically pick up the styling from your website. Go ahead and copy that into any web page where you want the form. And there she will be. Is that magical? Hmm? Let's go ahead and test a form. Bozo the clown and his email address is bozo at g 
gmail.com. Hopefully that guy won't be receiving a confirmation. <laughs> the URL said that. Okay, thanks. I appreciate it. Um, it tried to reforward. it. By the way, it, it said the URL was not valid because I didn't enter a full URL in the thank you page. But if we go back to... Let's go ahead and save this. If we go back to Infusionsoft and look at our contacts, we may have someone new in there. Let's go see, shall we? Contacts. Anyone? Bozo the Clown. <laughs> I love this guy. I love, I always love Bozo. I always loved him. So here's Bozo. Um, and if we go down to his follow-up sequences, we'll see that he is into... Hold on here. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's not what I was looking for. I was looking for tags. 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 Where's my tags? Um, yeah, well, from this end, I'm really not sure where our tags are. Tag, here we go. Whew. Look at me. I don't even know where to find it. Or well, regardless, <laughs> the uh, <laughs> Bozo the Clown, the contact has been added. Um, the form works, folks. All right. Um, it might need a little customization, but it works. And of course, the thank you page did not work, but uh, the information was still passed on to Infusionsoft. And ultimately, this is it. Then you take the code, put it on your website, and you should be good to go, folks. This has been a short tutorial, very short, on how to um, create email templates, um, create a tag, take these things and bring them into a follow-up sequence in Infusionsoft and then take this, infu uh, take this follow-up sequence, um, um, tie it to a form that we customize and then take this form code and put it onto your website. Simple as that, folks. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, may God bless you and yours as you endeavor to glorify Him, both on and off the internet. Thanks for watching. God bless.